हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ ऑन द चेयर दानिश सेठ कुबरा सेठ हु डजेंट नो दीज टू नेम्स सो टुडे वी हैव द मॉमेजर ऑफ दानिश सेठ एंड कुबरा सेठ मिस यास्मीन सेठ हेलो मैम वेलकम टू द शो सो हाउ यू बीन गुड मैम हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड थैंक यू सो मैम यू आर द मॉमेजर यू आर ऑफिशियली द मॉमेजर So uh, what does momager mean tell us a little about it So I'm a mom in any which case nobody can take that off from me and um, what I am not is the man so it is mom ager But you are the man of the house Ah uh, well um I do wear the pants but <laughs> 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 but I'm still the mom uh-huh. and uh, yeah so um, it happened so that uh, i used to undersign all my emails uh, as uh, manager and uh, people who didn't know who i am you know in the initial stages mm-hmm. because when i uh, started managing cobra's work officially uh, then uh, people who didn't know who i was so they they used to call me and say oh you're kubra's manager and you know mm. so then kubra said no i i don't like people talking to you like that and i and what's this right. bullshit about writing manager and all you're not a man- manager you're a momager <laughs> so i said okay how does it feel to be the mother and the momager of danish and kubra two incredibly talented people see um the day they were born mm-hmm. i was already on the cloud 9 <laughs> so sweet and um, of course with uh, with time today when i see fan following them and uh, people sending me uh, his uh, sketches huh. and um, writing to me how good kubra was or something you know like that so um, of course fame i have seen in the past as well because uh, you know my dad was a popular yes man, mr so, aziz said yes so i have seen fame earlier also so fame is not new for me <laughs> but um, uh, you know to see the children mm. um, it really feels um, i get very emotional <laughs> because so i i never thought i never thought that the children that i love mm. the world would also love them so much <laughs> so uh, 10 years ago uh, did you ever think that you, this day would come i always believed in the best mm. always believed in the best because um, um the first time i stepped out of the house mm. uh, to to make a living mm. the first time i stepped out of the house in 1990 mm. uh ever since i believed in myself and i made my children believe in themselves and i know the best is to come so i think the best is still to come it will <laughs> definitely will. the way those two are going i mean definitely there I'll, is a lot more yeah left. mashallah yeah. i think <laughs> yeah so how was your childhood being the daughter of mr aziz said such a well known politician um uh, well i have to share this with you um i was never grown by i, I was never brought up by my dad oh okay when i was born i was um adopted by my uncle oh all right so i lived ah. with my uncle mm. he was a very powerful man you know and uh, very loving uh-huh. very powerful and uh, I used to look at my dad and when I used to go there I used to actually feel very uncomfortable staying in that house. Okay. Because you know so many people coming, so many people, you know, in and out, there's so much happening there. Mm-hmm. I used to wonder, oh my god, how do they deal with this, you know? Yeah. But I had a lovely childhood, drew inspiration from fairy tales <sighs> and even recently Kubra was asking me, "Mom, what did uh, Mom, every child has a dream. What was your dream? I was eating. I said, the dream was to become a princess. She said, who becomes a princess? 
I said, yes, that was my simple dream. I wanted to be a princess. <laughs> you know, reading all those uh, stories from the yeah, fairy tales. Yeah. So I, she said, um, so what happened then? I said, I am, I'm just not the princess. I always look for something more. I'm the queen. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that you are the queen. I and I'm taken, I, I said, I'm, I'm taken care very well. <laughs> so Kubla says, wow, ma. <laughs> Somebody so should have an ambition <laughs> like you. I think which I never dreamt of, mm. I'm experiencing it. <laughs> so I always say that, you know. Um, little did I know when I was growing them up, I was growing my two children. Mm. But uh, actually I grew two, I, I grew my parents up. <laughs> Because they yeah, are like that. Yeah. Kubra is very careful about me. Mm -hmm. She wants me to do things even if I can't. Mm -hmm. um, she, right. she wants me to try uh, everything. Everything. Yeah. She wants me to try everything. At the same time, Danish is a very, very protective parent. Yeah. <laughs> I can see a cat here. There's a cat. There's a cat there. Yeah. Cat here. Cat here. And also, you are a mother of really cute cats. So tell yes. us about your cats. Uh, well, I have been a cat lover ever since I was a, a tiny girl. Mm. And um, I'm so glad my children also love cats. <laughs> and um, yeah, I call them cats now. I had my older one. She was 13 years when she passed away. Yeah. And 13 years, we, we lived like, you know, she was my best soulmate. Uh, we lived, lived so well together, both of us. Um, in the days when my children were uh, away from home, when Kubra was in Dubai and Danish was in the boarding school, Beta and me lived together. And um, 13 years, she passed away on my birthday. So that was very heartbreaking. So even today, but, but yes, I cried a lot. Yes, I do cry even today when I think of her. But then I think she lived a lavish life and we would never allow anyone to say that she was a cat. She was beta for us. She was beta. Yeah. And um, red is not a cat, red is beta. Yeah, red, is, uh, red, uh, red is red again, he's not a cat. And um, we see a lot of Shifu pictures. Master is in uh, Bombay and uh, uh, we had Lela, but unfortunately um, Lela couldn't complete her journey with us mm. so we had to send her away to another home um, because she she had this habit of mothering too much mm. and she couldn't uh, right. adjust with uh, Red she couldn't adjust with uh, Shifu, Shifu mm. so we had to send her away she just left yesterday oh. and yeah I do feel a little bad but that's life. it's okay you still have Red in yeah, Red and Chief, who are there? <laughs> Tell us about Danish and Kubra's childhood. How are they? I know Danish was really naughty. I mean, <laughs> uh, Kubra was very, uh, very timid, scared, responsible, and uh, stylish. <laughs> of course, I can't miss that. Stylish, she was. And Danish, carefree, always up to. Uh, some mischief for some, the other. Some mischief, not, I, I wouldn't call it mischief, innovative. Like he says, Creative. he's still living an Creative. extended childhood. Yeah. yeah. Whatever he, he used to do as a kid, he's doing He's still the same doing the same thing. thing. He's still doing the same thing. He, he's, he's not grown up yet. He's the same. <laughs> I see a lot of uh, pictures of you, Kubra, Danish, traveling around. You recently went to Goa as well with Kubra. So, um, one thing I know that you are a really cool mom. <laughs> you're you're their friend. You're their confidant. You're everything for them. So how do you manage to be such a cool mom? Well, see, Swati, uh, when you are, when any child is growing up, it is only that five years of growing up is what a mother teaches her child. Mm -hmm. Later, once they step out of the house. It's the world that teaches them. Me being a single parent, I've been very strict with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, initial years in the sense, I'm not saying that within the five years, yeah. but in the initial years of their growing, mm -hmm. 
I used to be very strict with them. I used to be very, uh, I would be the uh, sniffer dog. Uh, you know, when you go to the hotels and things, they bring the yeah. dog to your car to see what you have in your right. car. I would enter home and go like a sniffer dog one round. And I know what's, what's where. And I know what's come in my house, which is not belonging to me. <laughs> that could be for a simple reason, a little eraser or a tiny pencil that had to go back the next day to whoever it belonged to. It can't stay in my house because it didn't belong to me. And uh, they have to own up okay. that I brought this home. You can't dodge. When I ask, you have to tell me. I used to be a Hitler. <laughs> but then, slowly, as they were growing, as I told you, the world teaches them. So you don't know what the world is teaching them. I can trust my children because the first five years, it's only me, it's only me. Yeah. Now it's the entire world. Mm -hmm. So now I need to be their confidant, I need to be their friend, I need to be, um, give them that space right. for them to come and speak up to me, you know? Absolutely. If I don't, yeah. they're going to go and speak, speak to somebody else outside. Right. And then you don't know whom they're going to speak to. The advice that they get is right or wrong. Yeah. So I, I always was there to listen to them, to advise them. Even today, like whatever it is, whatever it is, they come and they discuss it with me. Okay. And then we take a joint decision. That is amazing. <laughs> a lot of people, uh, in fact, uh, uh, ask uh, them sometimes that uh, your mother manages your work, your mother manages everything for you. So uh, isn't it difficult? Like. I would be sitting here with you and my phone would, uh, you know, thing and I would just look. I know Kubra has put her petrol in Bombay now <laughs> and I know which bunk she's put it in. <laughs> okay. So there's nothing. I mean, when you're, when you're clear, you're not doing any mistake, then yeah, there's yeah. nothing to worry. Okay, ma'am, uh, whatever you just said, truly, you are a wow mom. And you also got an award for as a wow mom. Oh my god. Right? I really don't know what I did to get that award. <laughs> I, I, I heard a lot of other women speak there. And I, I was telling them that every story is just wow. Like the way people have yeah. faced it, the way they have come. And the thing is, that um, every woman here has gone through so much mm. that when I look at my life, I think I didn't go anything through, you know? And uh, also, what happens is, if life is without challenges, then it's like a straight line. Yeah, absolutely. It's like the exactly. ECG straight line. At least if the curves are there, you can say, that yes, I'm alive. I'm alive. Great words by Mama say. Talking about Mama said, I remember you telling us that uh, uh, you know Danish and Kubra they don't call you mom anymore; they call you Yasmin <laughs> because uh, the entire world yes, calls her yes. Mama. <laughs> uh, Kubra calls me, and uh, I I pick the phone and I say, "Hello, beta," and she be like, um, "Yasmin, look, <laughs> um, uh, can we do this?" I'm like, "Sure, we can do it." And uh, Danish, he saved my name as Yasu Seth in the phone. And when somebody calls him for, a, you know, a work call comes, he says, both of them do that. Uh, if anybody calls them, they say, we don't uh, uh, handle dates and commercials and uh, we don't know what our schedules are. Mm. So please contact uh, Yasmin and she will help you. So. Dan sends the number and it's gone as Yasu say. So I find people calling me and saying, can I speak to Yasu? And I'm like, okay, I know this is Danish's contact. You're also into acting and modeling, you know? So I, how did that start? How did you get into it? I was in Bombay hmm. and uh, I got a Facebook message saying that, uh, oh, would you like to be a part of a ad? I thought, you know, just maybe somebody is just <laughs> pulling my leg. Mm -hmm. So I didn't reply. And then the message came back again. Mm -hmm. 
can you please reply? Can you share your number or call me on this number? Okay. I said, just let me see who this is. So I called. And it happened to be um, Boris. Oh. This guy Boris. Uh -huh. And uh, I spoke to him. He says, uh, I just say hello and he says, Hello, auntie, this is Boris here. And auntie, there's a there's an ad and we want you in the ad. And I'm like, uh, I've never done anything before. No, no, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to worry. Just just say yes. And when you're coming, I said, I'm coming day after tomorrow. Cool, then you just come and call me and then you come. So I went and um, it was for Azwa Jewelry. Oh, right. And... and um, I was playing the boy's mother mm -hmm. and uh, it was a wedding scene where you know I'm putting flowers and uh. all that and things and then uh, uh, I think a couple of months, not even a couple of months, uh, I think a couple of days later there was uh, a bridal fashion week happening in Bombay uh -huh. and right. Kugra was uh, hosting, hosting that yeah. and she was so excited because every time my ad would play, <laughs> you know, the Azwa jewelry ad would play at my the mom. venue. Yeah, my mom. That's my mom. That's my mom. She was going on. And then I did this IPL ad, uh -huh. uh, which was uh, Kana Ki Pakam. Okay. So it's a very, it was a very viral one. Kana uh -huh. Ki Pakam, Kana Ki Pakam. It was like that. Very viral it went. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the same year, Danish also did a IPL ad, uh -huh. and uh, I was more worried about his ad. Yeah. So I said, um, uh, "What happened? Uh, why hasn't his ad come?" They said, "Your ad is so viral, so we're not putting Danish's ad at the moment." They said. <laughs> how, how do you feel when you see both your kids on the stage together, you know, hosting an event? Don't ask me that. I'll start crying now. Oh. I'm so emotional. Like for me, whenever, like when I see them on the stage and they're talking, I just look in awe. Uh, that or yeah, Kubra had mentioned that like you make a funny face and you go all yeah. I mean, <laughs> and uh, when I watch um, Ready hmm. uh, for the first time, Kubra was not there. I was the first one to watch the movie. <laughs> okay. In the family, I was the first one to watch the movie. So Kubra had uh, gone uh, to Dubai, at Dubai or she was somewhere, and I watched the movie. And um, when I saw Kubra, I was so breathless. I was holding the seat like this. <laughs> I couldn't see her on the oh, screen. Oh, that is so. I sweet. don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how many people are going to say Humble Politician is a uh, comedy uh, political satire but for me it's going to be an emotional political <laughs> satire because every time I see Danish on the screen I'm sure I'm going to cry. Because okay ma'am, so uh, quickly let's go for our rapid fire round. Sure. Okay? Sure. <laughs> Title for Danish and Kubra. Like right. Mr. Something, Miss Something. My babies. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. My Baby, Miss My Baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my baby. No turkey. This is this is really fun. This question, both Danish and Kubra gave really good answers. Hmm. If a biopic was made about your family, mm -hmm. what would it be called and who would play the roles? I think it should be Shole. <laughs> Wow, one of them is something else, one of them is the show. That would be the Gabbar Singh. Okay. And those two, Amitabh and Narmendra. No, no. No? Kubra will be the Kalia. Danish will be Thakur. Because he never does any work. So no hands. You just said he's workaholic and now you're saying he no, doesn't no. do any work. Work thodi na haath se karna, karne ko hi kaam bolte hai. <laughs> Dimaag se bhi to kaam hota hai na. Bravo na. One thing you wish you had not passed on to your kids. One quality of yours. Um, sleepless nights. Uh, sleepless night and back pain. 
Oh. Mm-hmm. Danish has taken it from me. He has to be careful. Yes. <laughs> uh, their mom made favorite dish. I think they love everything that I cook. Um, except for uh, they love all the f- any food that I make. Uh-huh. And uh, Kubra is like the man of my house. <laughs> um, I make food and give it to her. She will not even look or ask. Aren't you coming for food? Why don't you sit and eat with me? No. The moment the food comes, hot food, she will go slop, slop, slop. And she will eat and she will say, very good food. <laughs> you know? And I feel like a... You know, <laughs> Such a satisfying Proud mom. woman in the house. <laughs> and uh, Danish, you give him, give him anything made of chicken, uh-huh. he will love to eat it. The moment I say there's a vegetable in a dal, he will be like, I'm actually hungry today. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your fashion statement? Anything that's comfortable. Okay. All right. What does Bangalore mean to you? Home. <laughs> Bangalore is home. <laughs> All right. What would a day without gadgets be like? Considering um, you're the momager, you're always on the phone. <laughs> disaster <laughs> yeah i thought so <laughs> all right you know, the technology is so well taken i mean i love my gadgets because it's not just because for work mm-hmm. i know any time i know where my children are what they are doing okay and that gives me a lot of comfort <laughs> and we can we always in touch yeah like danish went to us for uh, about a month for his uh, improv workshop mm-hmm. and we were in, literally in touch every single day yeah wherever kubra is right. like she is she is just getting into uh, the airport in thailand mm-hmm. uh, she lets me she can let me know that she is yeah. you know heading to the airport and she is going to take a flight <sighs> so at least i can wish them a okay. safe flight you know <laughs> it gadgets mean a lot to me <laughs> <laughs> it keeps you close to your kids yes <laughs> okay the naughtiest childhood moment of your kids danish danish i still remember he used to ask me in different tones different ways <laughs> from different angles if he can go to play <laughs> and i would tell him no 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 <laughs> and one day i said no he went out and he uh, went with a friend on the cycle mm. and his foot got into the wheel Uh-oh. he came back his foot bleeding and his toenail was out and it was just not repairable so that's okay. one naughty moment that i <laughs> always remember and i remind him even today <laughs> you remember <laughs> and so listen <laughs> I remember one thing that he said during a TED talk, a TEDx talk. It happened in my college. <laughs> uh, he yeah, he showed us he showed this picture of his childhood where he is dressed in a frock and he would try to fool you as Kubra. Yeah, he used to wear Kubra's <laughs> frock, you know. And I I think basically he used to um tell her to put it on or put it on him or something like that. Uh, he'll wear and come first he'll wear it off then he'll So I have a picture of his. He is wearing and he is very happy. And then what happened? What is this? The moment I said, he is like, next picture immediately we clicked. He is crying. Oh. He got scared when I asked him, <laughs> why are you wearing this? And he started crying. Oh. Okay. So uh, what is the most memorable moment with your kids? I think those afternoons when we used to go to Lal Bagh. Oh, to have oh, so have a lunch sweet. and then play hide and seek <laughs> take a cricket bat play uh, you know uh, um, trying to bowl and danish will bat and <laughs> he'll miss the ball and if you say he's out he'll say no i'm not out <laughs> <laughs> it's my chance again to play <laughs> okay. the imperfect bowling the imperfect batting <laughs> It's yeah. so sweet. <laughs> that's the that's one moment. So, it even though today we we go and we have uh 
holidays together in different places but those moments can never be forgotten true that true <laughs> on on the bike i used to take them uh, on a kinetic honda <laughs> all right yeah this is fun your ideal bahu and damad please describe them to us a lot of people will be all ears now <laughs> <laughs> well um i don't know really in today's time what is ideal and what is not <laughs> i would just pray for one thing that whoever comes into the family understands that we three are have grown to be what we are today yeah and absolutely and we need we need to grow all together right so all right now so finally um i would say that your family gives major major family goals to everyone so all of us you have you give Thank major you mom goals your kids they uh, they inspire everyone to do something uh, and make them make their parents proud so what would your word be to a lot of families which are struggling still uh, well on that note of you saying that everybody wishes that they had a mama like me <laughs> and they had children like my children well the grass is green always on the other side mm -hmm. and um, we we can choose our friends mm -hmm. but we cannot choose our, choose family. our family family is something which is you come destined with yeah. that you know this is going to be my sibling this is going to be my parents yeah. you know so and as i told you earlier in this interview that first 5 years is what you hold your child's hand and then the world is that which teaches further you know to the child so i think you should make parents should make use of that time and um, just be there with your children just be there and uh, also when um, also you need to be you need to be very aware of what your child is doing you know and that will only you will come to know when you allow your child to come up to you and speak absolutely only then yeah the moment your child opens your mouth you say ah, you keep quiet uh -huh. you don't know so then what happens the child never gets the, the you know the opportunity talk, yeah. or the freedom to express so you don't know what your child knows because your child even if he knows he will say every time i open my mouth i will be shut down yeah. so the child is not going to speak to you so you have to listen to your child if your child is wrong you when your child is speaking to you listen to him first and then you if you think he is going wrong somewhere say wasn't it like i mean like this it's like this so they understand with a lot of comparison with a lot of you know things so try to have that discussion with them yeah. eliminate that fear of mm -hmm. you know i'm talking to my parents yeah that eliminate that fear yeah because it, this was the same child you you were all the time you know when he was below 5 or she was below 5 you wanted to say say hello to auntie say hello to uncle <laughs> do this do that you know right and see how he sings see how he dances mm. so keep notice so you will know that each child may every child is born with a quality yes in our days right. in our days we had no opportunities mm. we had no opportunities and we just grew up in the house yeah we didn't have opportunity today there are loads of opportunities Absolutely. sometimes i'm talking like to somebody <laughs> yeah i sometimes i'm talking to somebody and i really and i understand that there is a career which i have never thought of it in my uh, you know existence in this universe or will ever think yeah. of there are uh, careers like that today so everybody has his her own share of wealth yeah if he is born in this world <laughs> you know yeah. but only thing is he or she needs to do it right 
and how they're going to do that right parents need to support them absolutely because nobody becomes a pro in one day yeah yeah in one it takes time yeah. and effort i have also had my kubra danish my parents <laughs> their support so today i have successfully been able to sit and speak this interview with you <laughs> of encouragement that mom you can do it mom yeah. you can do it so you have to encourage yeah and don't think that i am all the time telling my children they are the, they are the best they're doing the good mm. you know and don't think they are also doing all the time the good yeah there is a lot behind the scenes right right an interview like this will will tell people what we have spoken in an hour yeah or 30 yeah. minutes but then there is lot yeah. more like if we are going if i'm going to sit down here and tell you in detail <laughs> it'll take you know maybe years together to <laughs> say all of this yeah. but um, it's not possible right mm -hmm. so there are things when there is something wrong i don't like it let even if kubra is in bombay i will pick the phone and i will tell her beta i didn't like that mm -hmm. you know could be you could have done it yeah. in a different way or you know, in a better way so my opinion is i didn't like it so she says yeah I think so. After you said, I'm just noticing it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, little things maybe. As a if it, what happens like you and your friend are sitting together, mm -hmm. and she tells you that uh, Swati, I don't like the lipstick that you're wearing. <laughs> You'll tell her, Oh, really? It's not looking nice. Huh? We'll Why? 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 Okay, maybe I will not wear it. Let your mother tell you, Swati, this lipstick is not. No, I bought this, and I will wear it. Why? When you when you can agree to your friend, why can't you agree to your mother? You know. But then, mother also needs to drop those guards to become a friend. Yeah. And then life Absolutely. is life is easy. Life is easy. Okay. And I uh, also once listened to Sadguru. Mm -hmm. He says. child is through you it's not you absolutely totally so let agree. them be let them be hmm. just be that support just be that 4 o'clock friend when 4 a.m friend when they are in you know stress yeah. they can call and they can tell you yeah be that punching bag when they can think yeah but when you have to be the mother then you can punch <laughs> them back too <laughs> but but i'm saying you know give them that liberty yeah. give them that liberty. as i said today uh, where danish is or where kubra is they have not become overnight what they are yeah it right. has taken time it has it taken, has taken years, years. it's taken years it's it, they have worked hard for it mm -hmm. it's not happen in one day so correct somebody who starts today will still have to work but and and then how do you actually Think like for example, you take you say Shah Rukh Khan. Mm -hmm. Do you think there will be another Shah Rukh Khan in this world? <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, I am a huge Shah Rukh Khan fan. Is, I don't think so. No, you don't say that. <laughs> I'm a fan of his. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And my mom is a fan of her. She's seventy-five. Uh -huh. She's a fan of his. Mm -hmm. He comes on the TV, and we all have a smile on our face. <laughs> But. Do you think ever another Shah Rukh Khan is going to come? No, no, not possible. Not possible. Not possible. No, it can't. It mm. does. It just can't because he is he. God has sent one piece, <laughs> right? Right. Absolutely so, right. So everybody can be somebody, but the start would be everybody starts with looking up to somebody. Yeah. That is how it needs to go. In, when Danish was in school, he used to say, "I want to be Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> I want to be the next Shah Rukh Khan." He used to say, and his school uh, mates used to say, "Okay, we will ask you for an autograph then." <laughs> so he used to say, "Yeah, yeah, I'll give you autograph." But then, as he started growing up, he realized, "I can't be Shah Rukh Khan. He can only be Danish." Say. I can be Danish. <laughs> I am not like him. Hmm. I am the official set interview. <laughs> interview, yes, hat trick interview. <laughs> okay, so 
finally thank you for being with us thank you for spending your time thank you very much for <laughs> thank you for taking our time in your busy schedule and giving a few couple of hours for us <laughs> thank you very much i'll see you in the next episode till then bye bye stay tuned to ytv it's your channel